Usually there's another one over here someplace. No, this one's closed. Would you say oh, we yeah. need to go like drop off a my inventory is nearly full. Oh yeah, let's let's go back to town quick. So we if you take the the warp here back to New Tristram. Oh, the is Blacksmith standing over here now? Yeah. Uh can you click on his Your anvil with salvage? Found wanting. Oh, I'm sorry. I clicked on here to talk to him. If he has a salvage option, you may want to consider salvaging most of what you found. Mm, no, unfortunately not. Not yet. Okay. We, he may need like an item or something from you. Well, yeah, when I click on him, it says his granddaughter or something. Grandfather. Oh, yeah, go, gotta talk to... Hmm. Yeah, we have to talk to somebody first or something. Tell me about your grandfather. Not much. We heard when the skill... He did what he had. Hold on one sec. Yeah. Tell me about your grandfather. Not much. Uh, when the skill... Did. Okay. Not yet, anyways. Yep, well, in the meantime, you can sell the stuff and get tons of money, brand new which will be useful. Be interested in. At least until we can start finding actual gold goblins. I just realized I can right-click on this shit to sell it instead of just dragging it and dropping it. Yep, and eventually um, there'll be a salvage option that lets you salvage everything. I just don't want to sell the one I have equipped. Now, it shouldn't be much of a risk. Oh, and level cap, the game is 70. At oh, least really? for base levels. Yep. Used to be 60, went up to 70 with the expansion. God damn, I have a lot of reagents. Oh, wait a minute. I can't sell what I have equipped because it's already equipped on me. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Like, I keep thinking I'm actually going to accidentally click on it by, by going through here and selecting all this stuff, but it's not down here in your inventory, it's up there on your character. Hmm. Which is totally awesome. So, I, I guess I could see if he had anything to sell, couldn't I? Yeah. If you have items you really need, or if you have like a, an empty slot you want to fill in, it's not a bad idea. Hmm, nothing he has is really... Any better than what I've got, though. Yeah, generally the game wants to encourage you to kind of be a loot whore about, you know, finding loot out in the world, so they tend not to give you much from the shops. Eventually, actually, the best way to get new gear is when you get the blacksmith happy with you, he'll let you start crafting gear. And the crafting system is generally a pretty good way to recycle the crap you find and also to get new gear that just to fill in slots. Although, once you hit um, adventure mode, then there's a bunch of other ways to do it, too. Okay, so I think the other two are down this way. That woke someone up. Hey, the boss is in here. You'll see some of them marked as minions, too. I require more rest. Okay, so we got one over here, by the look of it. of a rune that uh, changes your shield to fire damage. Yeah, I do. Oh, my skellies. Kill them! Oh, wait, shit. I haven't had enough essence for that. I have not been watching my beaters carefully enough. Uh, is it called essence for you or not? Uh... Uh, essence. Every class has its own weird stuff. Most of which have their own rules. Like, Barbarians, it's Rage. But, um, Rage actually de uh, constantly degrades. So you can you can build it really quickly, but it you can't hold on to it. 
Who, which one, which class is that I have on? Uh, that'd be Mage and, um, I think there's one of the straight up mana. Not ready yet. Mana. But yeah, the wizard has, um, mana. Frenzy Trine. That, yeah, so we now attack faster. It's basically just a flat, uh, you know, 25% damage buff. Basically melted those three poor fucks. I landed one bone spear on them and it was kind of charging up for a second, and then you just pulled them like a truck. Hmm. It's kind of just going wherever. Thinking it all kind of it all, all kind of just bleeds into the same place you need to go. Most times. Yeah, you don't generally have to worry unless you're trying to like, speed run about exactly where you're going. You'll find your way there. There are occasionally side paths, but if you find a side path, it's also generally likely that there's something to do on it. And worse come to worse, it's more stuff to kill and more gear to get. My oh, skeleton. Oh damn! Run and leave. Damn, we found guys behind us too. Shit. Oh, those are molten enemies. I'm gonna back away from them and start to explode. Yeah, so Summit, most of the like elites we fight are not really bosses, but they're just normal enemies that have been given elite status. Not really. And the game, depending upon your difficulty level, will randomly give them uh, like attributes from a big pool of attributes it has. Things like Molten, meaning they explode and they die. Teleporting. There's one that has them all pool their health together, so they all have the same health pool. There's a bunch that make them like have electric chains between them, so that if you stand between any of them, you take constant damage. There's a lot of weird stuff. Hmm. Okay. Generally not easy to predict exactly what a monster will have. The bosses are generally the same each time you fight them, though. So if you hit tab, you can see we've gone down this... We've actually seen the other side of this... Yeah, and if you ever want to see the whole thing, just see what tab once. I'm, I think we have to head up this way into the right. Looks like that's the way to go. And we should eventually start getting some movement skills, too, which allow us to move much faster through areas like this. In your case, you get the ability to summon, like, a ghost horse temporarily, which not only means you can move faster, but it also means you can escape enemies if you get in trouble. Right. Yeah. I have no idea what the hell I do, but I assume I have one. Is close. And what, so did you name your character Ambrose or something else? Yeah, I just named it Ambrose. That works. I didn't get creative or anything. I wouldn't necessarily expect it to in this case. No, my scanner is My faith is rewarded. Oops. Oh. Ah, shaman mask. I can't use that. Every class kind of gets some of their own. Ooh, that's actually good. Pool of Reflection um, gives us a buff for a while where we get extra experience. Okay, we found it. And no, boss time. I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Yeah, that was 
easy. Yep. I'm guessing it would have been harder on a different difficulty. But... Oh yeah, between the two of us, we should be able to do pretty well. And now we have the ability to, t to freely teleport back to town anytime we want. Next to your oh, potion button, yeah, you should I see the blue icon. So yeah, we can use that to head back. Uh, see, so yeah, I have a mantle I can put on. Sweet. Hmm, I have a helmet that's actually got more armor on it than the legendary one, but it's not Damn. legendary. So. Well, in that case, you're not putting anything in the helmet yet anyway, so when you come back to town, toss the helmet, uh, legendary helmet in your stash, because later on, they, you get the ability to they melt to legendary back. items and basically destroy the item but extract its unique property. So yeah, okay. just put the put the helmet back in your chest there, and it'll be safe permanently. All right. I think I can sell everything else. Yeah. Well, actually, before you do, um, I think we can turn into the blacksmith here. He may give you the ability to start crafting. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think. Ah. It's good to work again. There. New is the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to open. Then join my crusade. That does sound. That sounds meaningful. <laughs> now he knows what's up. So now if you click on his um, anvil, I think you can melt stuff down into yeah. crafting materials. So just whatever I don't want, I can just throw in there? Yep. Generally a decent idea, up until a certain point at least. When you have a few hundred of each, then it's you've got enough. Uh, I don't see any way to quickly just toss it over there. I think I have to drag and drop it. No, if you uh, click on salvage I can and click on that first. Yeah, click on the icon. Uh, it makes it. Then you can click on stuff and just melt it down. And beneath your inventory, there's a little um, like anvil icon. If you click on that, it'll show you how many crafting mats you have. As in a recent patch, they meant they no longer take up space, which is a huge fucking help. So how do you know? So you have to click on that to see how much you've got accrued? Yep. Reusable or if you go to parts. craft something, it'll tell you. Reusable parts, arcane dust, and veiled crystal. Yeah, basically it's... You get the uh, corresponding part from the corresponding cut, like quality of item. Gray mm -hmm. items give the gray material, blue items give the blue, yellow gives the yellow, legendaries give legendary. Train? You can train stuff like that? Oh, you have to train yeah. them. Yeah, you pay to level him up so he can make <laughs> higher and higher quality gear. I think max level is 10, maybe 12, but it costs money to level him up um, each time. There, I just totally made a split second decision and trained him. There, It's not a bad idea. I mean, By the end of the game, you're going to want him at max. He's level 4 now. <laughs> awesome. No, it's an excellent idea. Okay, well... <laughs> um... Forge weapons. So it shows what I need. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I see it now. All right. There should all be also be an option to just show like highest. Um, if you go to show highest usable or high or have materials, it'll show you either what the best thing you can craft is or, you know, have materials. Okay. So if you have any spots of your your gear you want to replace or that are a little behind level, you can try that. Those are things. And the higher level you get them, the more, you know, the more options you'll have for higher level gear. Right. Also worth noting, you'll eventually get, um, like, action, like enemies will drop blacksmithing patterns for, like, legendary items. Scythe, swords... Uh, I don't want a two-handed sword, though. Thank you. Dagger, flail, and a flail. That one's neat. Level 20, though. Okay, okay. I think I figured it out. Yep. My dearest Heydrick, do not feel despair. To pass that, you can talk to Deckard you Kane up here to um, advance the plot, I think. Our time. I have the crown. <sighs> it helps me find the form. Alright, I think our new mission is to go kill the, the first boss. The Skeleton King. Mm hmm. So we need to use this waypoint to go to the Cathedral Garden. Yeah. Now you're starting to look a little more 
heavily armored. Yeah, yeah. I'm literally using a heart and a dagger. I mean, if you look at me, I'm literally like holding a floating heart in front of my left hand. We had a few more abilities, though. I always forget early on, like, how limited the amount of things we do are. Although, if you remember much about the other game we played, uh, Path of Exile, the big difference in my mind in this game is that your character has abilities this early at all. In that game, it, I think it, like, you could get them that were, like, attached to your weapons, but I think each class was basically kind of an independent, you know, just a person. Why don't you fight us? Oh, sure we can find some friends. Yeah, I think you got him. <laughs> I also like that my little bone spear thing here gains power through every person it pierces. So they basically just attack stuff on their own, but I can use a skill to force them to all leap to a certain spot and just gang up on whatever I'm aiming at. Hmm, I kinda like that. Yeah, they can kinda hide behind the door frames at first. Twenty-five elites. Should go that way. I right, yeah, I was just checking down here. What's something when it says rooted? What's that mean? Oh, rooted enemy means they can still attack, but they can't move. You may have a few abilities that actually cause that. There are a few enemies, especially melee ones, where that'll basically just shut them down entirely. Alright, that was a bit of a dead end. I guess we should have just been following the dead villagers. <laughs> well, you know, I actually hadn't thought of that, but that might actually be an intentional like guidepost of sorts. Kind of an ironic one. But... Maintain your Ooh, cultists. Now, back to my mission. Oh hey, it's this guy. Okay, so the game has um, three NPCs you can actually have, like, just help you out if you're soloing. Tell me. What brought you to this makes the game a little place. easier, since they usually help round out whatever build you've got. And this is the first one. Oh. 
We have to take him with us long enough to get him his stuff back, but past that, we can ditch him if we want. But basically, he's of no... like, he doesn't really hurt anything. And actually, him specifically, we'll do things like distract enemies for you or heal you as well. Each of the three has kind of their own... like, one of them is mostly a controller who just prevents enemies from moving around as much. One is meant to make you more powerful, and one of them can kind of keeps you alive. The cultists dragged me past this glowing pit. What made it? I do love the use of physics in this game, just t bodies Down being tossed way. around. There are my He's free! Do not let him be off! I am Cormac. Warrior of the Templar Order. Oh, wait, if it is the skeleton here king you seek, uh, then you will yep, have to By the way, when you have partners like him, you can actually give him items too. Like he has not as many items as you that you can, you can use, but you can equip him with stuff to make him more powerful. Your defenses are apparently fine if you're just sitting right in the middle of an electrified minion and not taking damage. Or at least your defenses and regen are high enough, you just basically are able to face roll through it. <laughs> if you had enemies there, you would have crushed them with that. Yeah, the glue red, so I clicked on it. That is generally a good policy. <laughs> 